Good morning. Welcome back to the Veteran Revivals. I'm Art, Veteran Idiot. This is Earl, but we're not working on him today. In a wild turn of events, it's overcast here in Phoenix, so we're gonna take advantage and work outside today. I'm gonna try and get this van running and moving under its own power. Also, thank you to all you guys who submitted some names for this guy here. We've got some pretty inventive ones. Uh, I think one of them was uh, Eddie Van Hollen. That's pretty good. But we're going to go with Lieutenant Van. This one here. Lieutenant Van from this moment forward. Now let's try and uh, get this thing running. I'm going to drag this trail out of the way with Earl and then we'll pull the van itself up there under the shade in case this clears up and we're not stuck working out there. Uh, plus we're closer to the toolbox and I'm lazy so let's go ahead and do that. Well now that Earl's hooked to the trailer and I don't want to unhook the trailer maybe this tractor will pull it up there? Don't laugh at me. That was a real question. Uh, I'm gonna try. A little bit of an incline right there. I'm gonna give it a try. I gotta give credit to this little lawnmower. This thing is actually pretty stout. So I'm gonna give it a try because I don't wanna unhook the trailer. Just reinforcing my laziness. That's all. All right, let's see what you got. Never had a doubt. It's all a whole lot of ponies right there in that little guy. We got it pulled up here. Let's start digging into this thing. Figure out what the hell. It turns over, stumbles a little bit, but it doesn't start. So we'll start with fuel and go from there. At least it doesn't stink inside. That's what I'm really happy about. It's clean inside, doesn't stink. Outside's in okay condition. And pretty soon it'll have lots of ponies, more than it can handle. Home, home on the range, where the deer in the cantaloupe play. Can, cantaloupe? Oh, girl. It's the cutest little hood you ever did see. Oh, wrong spot. There you go. So this is the battery I found in the back of it. There's another battery that I charged we'll throw in here because this one is so cute. But it is, uh, it's okay in here. It's not bad. It's really greasy. Taking this engine out is going to be, um, should have lots of dish soap on hand. Oh, well, that's good. That's, that's one less thing to worry about. Just get this out of the way. <laughs> okay, let's put the trigger on it. That way I can turn her over and spray some brake clean down the intake here and uh, see if she sputters off and turns over. If that's the case, then we will uh, go down the line. We'll pop out the fuel filter, actually see if there's any fuel in the tank, and then uh, go from there. Maybe we can drive this thing around. Three liters in the Taurus were fun. Three liters in this thing, fire hazard. So when you turn the key on, fuel pump primes, so I'm, it's not the fuel pump unless the pickup's clogged or the uh, tube between the top of the housing down to the pump is eroded and it's just sucking air or the fuel filter's clogged is, is what I'm leaning towards. But let's see if it fires off with some, some stuff down the, the intake hole. Let's get the bigger battery on here. She's got to draw, folks. Got a draw. Big city woman. All right, let's try again. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Oh boy, this might be a spark issue. Why do they put these giant covers over the throttle? Just let me turn it. Oh, oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys heard what I heard. Definitely sounds like there is a gallop in there somewhere. Oh, there's a plug unplugged right here. Where does that guy go? Where, where is your home? The heater's bypass, that's fancy. Where does that plug go? What is this and why is it all stitched together? What is happening? That's math. What are you? You look like coolant or something. There's a plug on the coolant. Oh man, I was really hoping it was just fuel. Sparks a whole nother story. Dang it. Bummer. Maybe it's simple, like something's just unplugged. <sighs> Let me take this cover off, see what we can see. Oh, is that broke off? No? One more try. Nada, but she's got gallop. Holy worn out tensioner. No way that's real. I don't know if this tensioner came with this screw, but if it didn't, that is impressive. I'm gonna pull this cover off, see what else I can see in here. See if we can get to the distributor. We'll pull the inside out. Just start, we'll just disconnect stuff, start disconnect everything. See if we got spark in the back. That's what we'll start with. Bummer. All right, let's get into it. Get out of here. <gasps> Is it weird that this band smells exactly like the van I had growing up? Like, exactly? Is that weird? Do cars have, like, specific models of cars and generations have the same smell? Hmm. We may never know. I'm sure some of those. Hi! Come on, get out of there. What's your deal? What's happening? Why aren't you coming out? What? I don't remember this being an issue, but apparently it is. Come on, little fella. Come on. What do you want? What is that? Oh. Why? Why won't you come out? You're supposed to just pop off. Freaking little panel here is holding it up. <sighs> you know, I could have just gone in and get in the eight millimeter socket by now and gotten this out of here. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. All right! Why am I already sweating like crazy? It's like 80 degrees out here. That's tight. Is there another one over here? What's holding this on? Oh. What are you, and do I need to really put you back on? Is it a stereo amp? What? Somebody tell me what is. Little black boxes. Oh, there we go. That a girl. All right. Oh, oh distributor's plugged in. Coil pack plugged in. All the wires look all right. Let's see. Oh, God, between rat turds and oil back here. Ugh. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe this coil is just bad. Hopefully, maybe. It's not really an easy spark plug wire to get to, but. Oh, man, these are so nasty. Oh, my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Hmm. I don't want to put my head on that seat. Get this out. Oh, oh God, there's so much grease on here. Come on. There it goes. There she is. There she goes. All right, she's off. 
this is what this entire project is gonna look like. This right here. Okay. Got this thing hooked in here. Let's see if we got flashing lights. Lights, lights. All right, you guys tell me if it starts flashing. So it's got spark. Why didn't it like to break clean? Hmm. Let's plug this wire back in and go back up front. All right, back up front. Let's see what we got. All right, Ooh, what's the engine oil look like? Well, it's not milkshake. And it doesn't bring all the boys to the yard. So we got spark, but it won't even fire off with brake clean. Hmm, right. It does have a dead hole. One of the cylinders is definitely down. You can hear it galloping. Let me see if I can pop up some codes and find out where this plug goes and plug all that business back in. Be right back. All right, so I pulled all the codes. It was 159, which is mass airflow, which is weird because it's still plugged in. Uh, but I pulled the cover off too. <laughs> I pulled the cover off too so we can get a look at the throttle body. I'm going to squirt some juice down an open throttle body, see if we can't get it to actually fire off. Uh, that way, maybe it's not getting the spray all the way down in there. And go. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. All right, I think I know what's going on. It is burping up through the intake, so I think the timing is way, way off. Let me check the distributor, see if it's loose. The distributor is not loose, but it is nice and cleaned off, so I think they've been messing with the timing on this thing. So I'm gonna throw a timing light on here, see where it is. They may have the plugs, plug wires all in the wrong places too. Uh, so I'm gonna chase, see where number one would be on the distributor and then uh, chase it back. I can get to, kind of get to the number one spark plug on this side to try and get top dead center, but let's check it with the timing light, see if maybe it's just the timing first, and then we'll go down that whole path from there. At least it's got spark, and it may also have fuel because it's kind of burping over. Okay, let's see if we can actually see timing on this guy. Where? Oh, where is the timing marks? Where, oh, where could they be? For real though, where are you? It's pumping water, I can hear it sloshing around in there. Uh, that's called foreshadowing. <sighs> Clean up this crank real quick. I can't see nothing. I cleaned it up a little bit. Let's see what we got. That can't be real. It's like 35 degrees before top dead center. Let's loosen up this distributor. Give it a little, maybe that'll help. All right, give it a little turn. Let's see what that gets us. back the other way. <laughs> Went a little further, let's tighten it down, see what we get. I'm gonna hook up the mass airflow. See if we can't get this thing to run. The timing was like 20 degrees off. It may need still less timing, but we'll see what we get. That thing is not tight at all. All right, well, it's good enough. We 
did it. We did it, guys. I put a hose clamp on this thing. Maybe it's not getting all the air. Oh, I don't know if you can see this. This motor mount is shot. We get a hose clamp on this. Hopefully it'll tone down the meter there a little bit. I think it needs less timing still, but it is running. That is freaking awesome. Okay, it's tightened up on there. There still may be a fuel problem. Let's get in here on this timing again. Crank is impossible to see. Impossible. What on earth? <sighs> well, pretty sure we got fuel. It says quarter tank. <laughs> the timing is still just way off. The problem is, is that there's, I can't move the distributor over anymore. Maybe a matter of like rotating all the spark plug wires on top, around, and then bringing the distributor back over. Maybe the only thing we can do. Either that or it's got a massive vacuum. Which very well could be the case. This is special. I like that. I think we got a vacuum leak issue as well. It's run. Can't say nothing bad about that. Wonder if the AC works. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's ingenious little uh, jerry rig in there. Definitely sounds like there's a vacuum leak somewhere, but like I said, that's not going to matter too much to me. Let's turn on the AC, see if the AC works. Because why not? Boop! Oof. See the burning oil from somewhere. It stinks. Thought the valve cover or something. You can see the smoke. Engine seems the most happy right there for right now oh is it blowing AC compressor is not on oh the brakes are friggin terrible it's got oil pressure Let's see if it goes forward and backwards the rear wiper work oh sorry let's go forward oh. Oh. going for a ride should probably bring one of the scooters with me let's roll well I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say it's got a blown head gasket is one of the reasons why it's, it's so hard to start and it runs like crap. Not even hot yet. And we got gases coming up out of the spout. Yeah, it's not. I think it's got a toasty head gasket. Anytime the water gets up above that point it wants to bubble out. Air and it's rhythmic with the cylinder. Yep, so I'm gonna say that is probably a blown head gasket, but that's all right. I still wanna take it around the block and give it a drive, just to reminisce. Well, she won't start. Head gasket prevails. <sighs> really wanted to take it around the block? Kind of sad now. All right, we're back after some lunch. Let it sit for like an hour, just to see if maybe uh, we can start it up again. Pretty sure the head gasket is blown in it, just by evidence by all the bubbling in the radiator. But I, I really want to drive it around the block. I don't really know why, but I really, really want to do so. So let's see if she'll crank over. I can just shoot, see the water shooting out of the radiator as I'm cranking. <laughs> I think that's probably going to be a no-go on that one. It's funny. It's funny. Oh, she's running. Yeah, I don't know if I'm... Uh... I'm a daredevil by heart, but I don't know if I'm that brave. 
go around the block in this thing. Um, I'm gonna end up towing it back by myself. It's for sure gonna die and I won't be able to get it rolling again. All right, well it runs and it moves. I mean, so what I can do is I can drive it around the yard. Yeah. Oh, it's on like four cylinders. Idles perfectly. I don't even know what's wrong. Let's see if I can take my foot off the throttle and close the hood. Oh yeah, it's shooting like a head gasket sealant out of the radiator. I mean, placing a head gasket, not too crazy of a job, but replacing it on a three liter and then putting it back in here, hell no. We're moving, we're driving. We are driving around the yard. Oh, it's got no power steering. That's a bummer. Moving under our own power. It's a beautiful day. Oh, there is lots of, lots of loose things under the front of this. The inside's nice and clean. Not a whole lot of damage to the outside. The underside of this thing uh, feels like it's falling apart. Oh, 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 I don't want to run into Earl. Oh, man, yeah. No power steering. None at all. What are you looking at? Huh? It does burnies. Yeah. Told you. Don't doubt me. Well, that's a win, folks. That is a running van, drove it around the yard, did a burnie in my dra gravel driveway. The wife's probably gonna kill me. Might as well just clean it out now and get it ready to uh, be a uh, heart transplant. Is that I guess what they're looking at? I'm gonna rip the guts out and put in some better guts, maybe with two more cylinders. Or maybe the same amount of cylinders, but in a straight row. Probably the eight first and then the six in a row ready to tow let's finish this guy off by cleaning it out listen to that force Eleven, yeah it's gonna blow up might as well shut it off Oh, she's vacuumed out, wiped down. It, it could definitely use some Mr. Clean and some bleach, some pesticide, and a whole bunch of other stuff, but it's clean. It's not bad in here. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, that seat doesn't fit back here because of the offset over there. Oh, well. I kind of wanted to have that room in the middle, maybe for the dojis or something like that, but that's okay. Maybe we can find a back seat to this thing at some point and throw that one in the shop. The front cleaned up pretty nicely, wiped everything down. Most of the dirt came off. There are still some grimy spots. But I mean, for the most part, it is nice and clean. So I'm excited about that, excited to get this thing out and rolling. Fuel door still works. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I'm excited to get this thing out and rolling and get this project started. We're gonna roll it back over into its spot over here and it's gonna sit for a little bit till I can find a donor 5.0 out of an Explorer. Till I can find a donor 5.0 out of an Explorer. So anyways, uh, as soon as I find one of those and we'll start ripping out of this thing and throwing it in uh, the powertrain, see what fits, what doesn't fit and what we can make work and get this thing haul in the mail as they say. Lieutenant Dan is waiting for that transplant. It needs it, wants it. It's got to roll on. All right. But enough of all that. I got some errands to run in Scrappy. So we're going to call this video. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Let me uh, try and get Lieutenant Van up and running. Got him started, got it running, but uh, that head gasket at least that's what I'm presuming. Why don't you throw down some guesses in the comments what you think it was, but that's what I'm leaning on. Uh, kind of left us short there, so got to drive him around the yard, do some burnies in the gravel, 
and that's enough for right now so thank you guys check out the merchandise on veteranrevivals.com and uh as always have fun <laughs>